Hi craft nerds! Whoa, that was crazy. Um, so if you've been watching my videos you know that my ring light has packed it in and so I just had a bit of a fiasco there trying to move lights. I forgot that things were like velcroed to each other and yeah, things were falling over, my stands were tipping over. Um, I'm determined to film this though because it's stuff I've like accumulated and I want to show you guys because I think you know you might enjoy it um, and you know and then put it away so I'm gonna race through this as much as possible because you know I like to yabber on um, and I'm gonna really try not to and just focus on showing you pretty things. Um, so this is um, a mixture of just like clothes and makeup and things like that that I have been buying over a period of time. Um, some of it came in the mail um, and I've picked it up today. Some of it's just been over the last few weeks that I've been buying um, like it's end of season. In Australia we're moving into the colder months so we're moving we're in uh, autumn at the moment and it's getting colder and now is when all of the summer stuff goes on sale and things like that. So you can pick up some really awesome bargains. And I am just a sucker for a sale, so which you'll see in a minute when I show you everything. Um, it's a bit atrocious actually how much I have to show you, I've realized. So I'm gonna have to like get a get a cup of tea, like I hear YouTubers say, get a cup of tea, get a snack, because we're gonna be here for a little while. Um, and I will try and rush through the things. So first things first, now I was wearing this before and I had some fizz gig cuddles so apologize for the cat hair. Um, listen if you watch my videos there's going to be some cat hair from time to time because if anyone has had a rag doll they know that you can clean up all the cat hair and in half an hour it looks like a cat exploded on your carpet. So um, they molt like absolute buggery. Um, it's insane and ridiculous to keep up with and basically everyone who, that comes to our house needs to have a sticky roller, uh, like a lint roller, rubbed all over them before they leave because of cat hair. Uh, we didn't realize how bad it was before we got rag dolls, but we loved them so we wouldn't have it any other way. So anyway, apologies if you do see any cat hair on this, because there probably is. There is, I can see it right now. Um, but this was five dollars, so I went to H&M and um, you know, had a look at their, I went straight for the sale racks to be honest because they had a fair bit on sale for the end of season stuff. They're getting all the new stuff in. So this was five bucks. Um, it's a cropped top. So the thing is though, don't be like put off by cropped tops is what I kind of wanted to show with some of the things that I bought is to think creatively about how you style it because you know I wouldn't wear a cut off top um you know I'm not like I'm not happy with my um showing my belly I, I don't like doing that anyway and you know I probably would only do that when I was like really young um you know it's just not for me it, you know some some girls look fantastic doing that but I am not one of them so um, but I will just wear a singlet top and that's what I do um, or even a long sleeve top underneath that in the colder weather um, and you know I'll maybe use a pink color to pick up on the flowers um, and wear it with jeans um, or if it's a bit warmer maybe a singlet top so you don't have um, you know as many layers so you know, have a think about, like when you see things like that, you might think, oh, I can't wear that. And that's probably why people weren't buying it, because it's cropped. But it's so easy to layer that. This is the same situation, but, and also $5 from H&M. Um, but we've got stripes and a red flower instead of the pink. And again, I'd wear that with a singlet top underneath or a long sleeve top, maybe red top if I wanted to you know, bring out the flowers or you could wear black or whatever. So, and I have worn them with this top. These are great to get. These are just your basics, you know. Um, again, I was wearing this with some cat cuddles with 
underneath that blue top I just showed so again apologies if you do see any cat hair on that I did try to give it a bit of a lint roll but <laughs> Um, so this is sort of a p fuchsia pink color and I and long um, enough you know and I would wear that under one of those cropped tops um, I like wearing a little cardi over it um, I like wearing different tops that you would wear in summer over those long sleeve tops to change it up um, I'll wear them under you know summer dresses to make it a winter dress they're just to me a staple and I have these in just so many different colors um, you know, and I'll probably get any other colors that I see because I just I just wear them all the time They're just perfect to um, Change up your wardrobe and that way you've got a whole new winter wardrobe um, Without buying anything much except for a few basic, you know shirts so This is a similar sort of basic in that it's just a plain um, Design top, you know stretched knit top but it's um, got a really nice pattern on it it's sort of vintage style which I love um, and it's just comfortable you know so this one was Target um, I don't know if the stock that we have in Australia is the same as uh, you know the states and, and elsewhere but I thought this was a lovely design so hopefully you do have it oh now I do have another thing got at H&M and I just had to pick this up I couldn't believe I saw it alright so again five bucks and it's a Nirvana top it's really really long I'm sorry I can't sort of quite show you the whole thing in frame here I've, um, with the way that these lights are I'm lucky that I'm able to film it all to be honest with you um, this is sort of like a really loose fitting top you would have to have to I mean see the arms there are nuts um, you have to wear a singlet top under this but it's so flowy at the bottom that it's great over pants with the singlet top underneath if you're exercising which is what I wore it for I went you know um, for a walk and I wore a strapped top underneath this with some leggings and you know it was great so you could wear a long sleeve top again if you wanted to and um, that way you could wear it in cold weather so H&M again five bucks was excellent buy um, this has is a scratch and sniff top it's so cool um, <laughs> and it smells so nice it's like lollies um, it's just got this sweet um, yeah just like a little sherbet um, watermelon lolly or something like that and I got this from Supre I think it was this was ten dollars so it's just um, a short sleeve top um, it's not a bad length actually with um, you know high-waisted jeans you could also wear a singlet top underneath if you want to bring that length down a little bit um, a little pink you know top underneath would look cute or a long sleeve top again for winter that come you know and pick up on that pink color um, I mean you could do gray or black or something as well I just think it's so cute you can see I was like on a bit of a clothing thing because I've been wanting to get some new stuff in my wardrobe but I want to lose weight as well so I've just been like checking out all the sales and all the um, discount clothing and figured you know, I, I, I never think you should wait to feel cute, you know, you shouldn't just go, oh, I won't, you know, I'm, I'm unhappy with all my clothes, but I'm not going to buy anything until I lose weight or whatever, because, you know, then you just end up miserable, and if you feel good about yourself, you're more motivated anyway, but, you know, nothing wrong with thinking a bit logically about it and think, okay, well, I'm not happy with my weight, maybe I don't want to invest in something really expensive um, because if I do lose the weight then maybe I won't be able to wear it so that was the thought process here and a lot of this stuff is the, are things that I could wear anyway if I lost weight because um, they're still gonna look you know good if I if I'm a little smaller so anyway let's keep going because I've got so seriously I've got so much this is like gonna be the biggest haul I think I've done so far um, so I got this one for five bucks as well. This was H&M. Um, sorry, I'm jumping all over the place with shop 
shops but I'm just picking them up off the pile so this is a, a cropped one again um, and again I would wear something underneath this um, you know I've got it like I've got one of the basic pink tops on right now so I'd probably wear that under it and um, probably with jeans or something like that so I thought that was cute now I went to, where did I go for this? I went to both Kmart and Big W. They're not particularly known for their clothes. Um, Target is, you know, these days known for clothes, but Kmart and Big W are a bit meh. But, you know, if you're looking for some bargain stuff, um, it's worth checking out, especially at end of season, because, you know, you can find a few uh, really awesome deals. Uh, I didn't find a ton um, which one did I go to that I didn't find a ton at? Um, I think it was Big W that I didn't find as much at. Um, so I think this one was Big W. I'm sorry, I'm getting confused with my shops now. Uh, this was $3 though. So really, really cheap. Um, just a basic, you know, tank obviously. I just really liked the colour. Um, and again, I would lay this so I'd, you know, wear a long sleeve top under it in the cooler months, maybe even a um, little cardi over it and, you know, maybe some darker colours, a few pins on it. You know, just, just the way that you style it that makes it look really cool. I just couldn't believe some of the prices like this was $3 as well. Um, so it's got these really cool little tied arms um, and it's on, off the shoulder grey one and yeah three bucks and it looks great on with all of these things too I mean try them on because even though they're they're bargain basement but you know nothing's a bargain if you can't use it you know it's not a discount if it's something you won't wear or you can't use so I did try all of these on before I bought them and some of the stuff um, I had to put back because, uh, obviously not the stuff that you're seeing here, but some of the stuff I tried I put back because I thought, well, you know, yeah, it's three bucks, but I don't like it or, you know, it doesn't fit or I won't wear it or whatever. Um, so I made sure I was getting things that I do like. Oh, this, this was a dollar. I couldn't believe it. A dollar. So cheap. Um, somehow it's size 8, which I am definitely not a size 8. Um, I wish I was a size 8. Back when we got married, I got down to a size 8. Uh, yeah. Memories. Um, this was three dollars. And yeah, I think this one, this one was Kmart, I believe. Um, I don't know if it says it on there. No. I'm not, I mean, I wasn't entirely sure about the frill. And um, what did Dan call me? A frill neck lizard. So I was walking around, like, popping up my collar, like, ah, <laughs> like a frill neck lizard. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes you might think, oh, yeah, that's fine, and you bring it home, and you're like, eh, but I guess, look, um, try and find things that you do like, but at the end of the day, if you don't wear it, it is still three bucks, so not too bad. Um, I'll keep going with these Kmart ones. Um, these are pretty cute. These are really impossible to hold up and show you, but it's one of those, like, cold shoulder tops and it has got um, like a halter neck kind of lace up dealy there um, so you know quite a nice top I'm not sure if I'd layer this or not um, maybe maybe I'm not sure how the shoulders would sit with layering but uh, again three dollars and this is the exact same design, but it is a red and blue. So I'm, you know, you can see I'm really drawn to anything that looks quite vintage. Um, uh, I don't know, I think Princess Highway, if you know that brand, or um, anything at Dangerfield, I love that stuff. Um, anything that's a little 
I don't know if this is a thing, but I think of it as like edgy vintage. You know, you could um, you could wear like a biker jacket with it if you wanted to, or um, boots with it. You know, I don't know. I've got a weird style, like I've said in in previous videos, that I don't know how to quantify for you in a nice little package. But I don't know. People kind of say they like recognize my style like you know they'll see a thing and go oh yeah that's your style <laughs> so I, don't, I guess I it's recognizable to a degree but maybe maybe it's just a bit of a mix of things I might just be an eclectic style I guess oh H&M again sorry I'm back and forth apparently because I forgot I had a couple more things here um, I love this print. This was so cute with, I have some black jeans that I wore this with. The length of the arm straps are too long um, and I think that's why it was on special. Now, I am quite handy with a needle and thread but if you're not you could pin it or again you could layer it over a um, tank or something or a long sleeve top or what have you. Um, and then you're fine or even another singlet top that came up higher You know, you don't have to wear just one layer of things you can layer it up And I would just keep it pretty simple and probably Wear it over black so that the pattern was the thing that stood out and same sort of deal with this I'd wear this over white But I just loved the design on it You know, it was just a very different sort of floral that I've seen before so I love that um, oh what else do I have oh where did I get this from oh Supre this is a Supre as well oh, sorry back and forth um, three dollars as well this was yeah so and this was really nice on they did have a different pattern but I didn't like it as much so I just went for this one so three bucks I mean so it is a lot of clothes that I've got here but like the price on these clothes was just you know hundred a hundred dollars or something for all of that I mean that's pretty insane really um, oh yeah this was Target as well this was cute um, again I, I would wear this over something probably although I think I'd be fine not to wear it over something in summer so that was cute that was a little bit more I think um, I feel like that was twenty dollars maybe or something but I thought I might wear it at work so you know I didn't mind too much with that um, and I, I have one more and I can't remember the name of this shop it was just a, a little fashion boutique that we had um, nearby so again, I just thought this was a really cool um, vintage design. Has the cold shoulder, and yeah, just super cute. Um, all right, so now I'm I'm gonna just keep flying through because yes, there's more. Um, I got a couple of pairs of shoes. Again, end of season is the time to get sandals and stuff on special. Um, I like rivers for shoes and jackets, mainly that is all, but uh, these were 15 bucks and how cute are they? They are just so cute. And they're really comfortable on, I was really pleased with those, so yeah, very happy. They've got really soft soles, rivers do that with all of their shoes, they have very soft soles. So very happy with that and these ones again $15 so I don't wear a lot of white shoes to be honest but um, sometimes in summer they are good and I'd thrown out a pair that I'd had for years um, so I didn't have any other white shoes so I figured 15 bucks I'll get a pair of white shoes so that if I want to wear any white shoes I have some all right now I'm gonna <laughs> race into beauty stuff because I have a few things here um, as I mentioned these are things that have come 
um, in the mail mainly. I think all of them actually, um, except maybe one. Um, and I've bought over a period of time. So all of this stuff um, has been like probably over a month, month and a half, but you know, some of it didn't come until now. And some of it I just didn't share until other things arrived. So where to start? Um, all right. I'm going to start with some interesting stuff. I tried some Neod products. These are made by the same, um, you know, Decium company that are uh, sort of the umbrella company for a few different brands, including The Ordinary. But this is their higher um, top end brand, I guess. And this is a mask and it's really nice. It's called Merclay and it's just meant to be really good for anti-aging um, and have a lot of really good stuff in it, good for pores, good for all sorts of things. Um, it's got a lovely warming feel on the skin. Um, although my husband thinks it looks like a poo mask because it does look a little poo-like in its colour so it's not very sexy, um, which Honestly, what mask is sexy? Oh, except for the glam glow masks with glitter in them. I guess, um, yeah, maybe someone was thinking I'm sick of like looking like trash when I put a mask on, so let's chuck some glitter in there, which I'm not opposed to, but, um, yeah, anyway, nice mask, have enjoyed it. Um, too soon to say if it's doing much yet, but it, it does seem very nice, so... That was good. Um, this from Niod Mastic Musk. Must? Yeah, Mastic Must. Uh, now, this was meant to be really good for large pores. And I have really found over the last maybe year or so, like something like that, that my pores are looking so much larger than they were. Um, I don't know if other people find this, like I'm an oily skin person and I always have had some pores, but I always looked, thought, well people always said I looked young for my age and so forth, but I feel like in the last year my skin's just gone bleh. Um, it's just died in the ass and it's just looking crap and starting to get, you know, wrinkles that I never had and like my pores are looking massive like craters and I'm so pretty. Um, so, yeah, so I was like, I need something for my pores, um, aside from, like, you know, spac filler or something to carve into the craters of my face. Um, God, I'm pretty, aren't I? <laughs> I just paint a pretty picture for you all. Um, yeah, so anyway, this is meant to be really good for pores. I have found it is, um, you know, and I've only just started using these products but and this one you leave on for 10 minutes wash it off and you know just sort of, I guess go about your day or put on your makeup or what have you and it really did make my pores look smaller I hate the smell of this though hate it it stinks it's stinky it's very stinky um, but someone did say I feel like it was Stephanie Nicole if anyone watches her channel she's like major skincare um, guru I, I watch her all the time and she always says you know skincare shouldn't smell good and I have to agree um, because you know perfume is just masking the stuff that that does something um, and you know an ingredient either does something or doesn't do something it's not there to smell good it's there to you know be an active ingredient to do something for your skin so anyway it doesn't smell good neither does this this was the other Niod product I thought I'd give a try to which is Sanskrit Saponins Saponins that weird names for things I swear to god um, Sanskrit Saponins Saponins yeah <laughs> Um, this is one that you can rinse off so I've used this a few more times because you don't always have 10 minutes to leave the thing on your face uh, you use this once every other day um, and again it's you know supposed to be very good um, for this is a second cleanse type of cleanser um, and you know just helps with enlarged pores I think it was like sort of removing the sebum um, in your pores 
you know, any sort of built-in grime, that sort of stuff. Um, and again, I have found it so far to be really good, but it's, they smell very similar, those two, and I hate the smell. Um, but don't care, we'll use them. Uh, speaking of Stephanie Nicole, she talked about this product, which is um, a hyaluronic acid that is apparently better than some of the high-end hyaluronic acids. Um, I haven't tried this yet, it's just arrived, but it has three different size molecules of hyaluronic acid, which means that it will penetrate your skin better, um, plumping it more. So that's the hope. Oh, I haven't tried it. Um, gosh, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to race through. Uh, I've been looking into some nail art things, and I got these little sponge things. Um, and I will show you why I got those in a second. I got the sponges with the thought that they might help me to apply these, which are little nail art tattoos. And they're all different designs, lots of floral stuff, butterflies, um, all different colours, flowers and different colours, um, a ton as you can see, ton, ton, ton. Um, I don't have any on at the moment but I do, I did have some on and I showed them in a previous video. Um, I got these really cheap from Wish, I think it was, for like $4, and I feel like that included delivery, maybe. Um, and yeah, they're really good, but like, they're a little awkward to use because, you know, when you take it off, it's sort of upside down. Um, it's like you wet the paper just like you would for a temporary tattoo, it comes off, and then you've got to kind of flip it and press it onto your nail. So, I don't know if this is going to work, but I figured I could you know, put them onto the sponge and use the sponge to press them onto the nail. I don't know. In my head, that's a great idea. I don't know in application if that will actually work. We shall see. Watch this space. Maybe I'll have... Maybe I'll do some sort of fun creative nails video or something. I am not an expert on nails in any stretch of the imagination, but we can have fun and um, play around. Like and work things out. Um, so on the nail front I've got a cuticle remover so that'll be good. I did also get, which I don't have here with me, um, those little nail art tools that have a little ball on the end that you can put little dots onto your nails with so you know maybe we can have a video and we'll play with stuff. And I've got some nail polish coming as well, the Zoya nail polish because I heard that was a very good one. Um, I got a colour stay top coat because I love this brand of nail polish. It has been very good as far as chip resisting. Um, oh, I actually have it on at the moment. And I say that and they are a little chipped, but they've been on for a little while. Um, and I don't have the top coat on this one because I just bought this. But... I have found this to wear better than other brands, so I figured it would probably wear even better if I had a top coat. Um, because I'm wearing, I'm doing a lot of masking stuff these days, um, I thought I'd be all fancy pants and get some little mask um, applicators because, like, you gotta like dig your fingers in the jar. Like, I mean, there's no applicator with this, so you gotta like dig your finger right into this to get the mask out. So I got these little like. Um, sp face spatulas <laughs> mm. um, to spatula stuff onto my face like my spac filler um, but how pretty are they and these were just like super cheap as well from like China or something like six bucks um, I thought I'd give this a try it's a fit me powder I have tried it a few times I love this as a blotting powder in particular um, but it's very nice as a regular powder as well. It's not as good as Laura Mercier, um, but it's not too bad. It's not too powdery, um, so I, I quite like that. Oh, I did also, before I found the little spatula things, I was like, oh, maybe I can get a spoon to spoon out my masks. And, like, I did a search on eBay for, like, 
little mask spoons or whatever just in case it was a thing I don't know and I saw these rainbow spoons and I was like oh yeah I need I don't want just a spoon I want a rainbow spoon so um, it's very pretty my god I'm feeling really stressed right now trying to get through all this I'm sorry I've been shopping so much um, okay <laughs> How do people do these big hauls? I don't understand. It's stressful. Um, okay, so I, I, I'm a sucker for a sale and Colourpop had a massive sale. Um, I think it was like, I want to say it was 25% off or 30% off. It was a large percent off. They're liquid lips, um, all of them. And so I bought some. Um, Colourpop have sales a lot, so if you are thinking about getting stuff from Colourpop, you know, you could wait for a sale, there'll be one. Um, or, I mean, they're so cheap anyway, so it really doesn't matter. But, um, I was sucked in by the sale, and look how pretty. Now, my light's not working, so hopefully this will show up pretty good for you. This is a red metallic lip gloss one. Uh, so they had some... You know, they have glosses, ultra mattes, and satin mattes. So this is Believe Me, and yeah, red, deep red, sparkly one. Um, this one's Lion King, uh, ultra satin. The ultra satin's nice if you don't want a real dry, dry lip, because they do are a long wearing one, but not as dry. Um, ultra glossy, ultra glossy? No, ultra satin. In Brooklyn this is the ultra matte uh, this seems to be a collab Ilari and Colourpop um, Yoshi is the color and yeah I just thought mmm it's a pretty kind of fuchsia purpley color um, I'm wearing this one right now which is femme and it's an ultra satin so it's a real like it looks lighter in the tube but it dries down a bit darker as you can see so it's sort of a dark uh, taupey purple color uh, so I like that one this is point zero I'm not normally into browns anymore I used to be way into brown lipstick but I haven't been wearing any for a while but I figured it would be good to have like a real neutral brown just so I have one at least and maybe I'll get back into it who knows although I did like this one this is a coppery color man eater uh, that is ultra metallic lip it just says ultra metallic I think they dry down um, ultra matte this is the my little pony one this had the cutest little box how cute um, but I love the color and it's lemon drop of course because this reminds me of lemons a lot oh <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't know where Lemon Drop came from. Um, ultra Satin in Canoodle. It's kind of like my top. Uh, not really. This one's so interesting. Um, it's a gloss. I don't know if you're going to be able to pick up the colour, but it's like brownie purple, but with a um, blue flash. So unique. Yeah, I mean, it's. I'm trying to get up closer. So unique, and I thought, yeah, I want to try that out. That looks really cool. I was almost going to get a black lipstick too, just because, you know, um, I wanted something really unique, really different, but I just wasn't really sure if black would suit me. It might be a bit too much for my face. Um, reds do well for me berries, even very dark purples, that sort of thing. Not sure on black. I should just try it really. Uh, another beauty, so pretty. Um, so this is a metallic as well. Um, yeah, just says ultra metallic lip in croquet. Very pretty. And this is a satin in dopey. And actually, I have this color in a smaller one, and I really like it. So I figured I'd get a bigger one. Uh, because I like it. Oh, I 
think that's it. We made it. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm so sorry. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Just something a bit fun, a bit different, um, you know, and like just wanted to share some of the cool special things that I've been buying. Um, have a think about clothes. Like I said, if you see anything interesting out there and you think, you know, I, I'm not sure if I would wear that, you know, think about layering. Try getting into layering. I tell you what, it has opened up so many possibilities for clothing for me. Um, and, you know, you can get some real bargains out there if you're willing to think creatively about how you wear things. So, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I have got some other videos coming soon. Um, I've got I've got such a list of things that I want to bring to you guys. It's just a matter of having the time. So, hopefully I will. And hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my crazy, crazy creative stuff. Alright, see you guys. Oh, I forgot to say, this was one of the tops I bought as well. This um, cool, like, flowery zip-up top. I'll try and stand back to show you. So you can see it's a cropped one as well. And I've just worn it with um, a longer top underneath. And a cardi. And I love the way that it has one big frill on one side. It's really different. Um, I love this little cool o-ring and you know I'm not always a floral person but if it looks a bit vintage style then I don't mind it it depends I'm just I can't even put my finger on what I like in a floral but I'm very fussy with my florals so um, yeah I just liked this one though and you can see, you know, I'm, I'm no clothes horse, but um, <laughs> you can see I've worn something long underneath and that's just a different way to style it. So anyway, thought I'd just quickly share that because I was waffling on about it before. 